Hello everyone and welcome to Darkstorm Dust Kerbal, or as I prefer to call it, Darkstorm in Space. I'm taking a look at the Kerbal Space Program and I have so far enjoyed my playthrough of it. I've been doing a little bit in, was in career mode and it was horrifying how many times things can catastrophically explode. I thought it would be fun to do this. I apologize to the ones leaving the Terraria Thursday comment. It makes sense, Minecraft Monday, Terraria Thursday. That's Terraria Thursday then. But at the time of recording uh, for Monday's video, I had not actually seen those. So I apologize for that, but we'll be doing Kerbal. And let me tell you, I like this game. Now, I'm going to start a new game because. Go, oops. I'm not default, I am Darkstorm. Uh, I should probably see if I could. I don't really know how to add a. What should I say? Custom flag? But that would probably be really useful if I could get the DPS Gamer flag. Until then, we're going with. Orbit, because we are hoping to actually reach orbit. Career mode, you have to manage a lot of funds and such, and that is just. It's horrible because instead of having a fun catastrophic failure when you re enter the atmosphere, you have a very expensive catastrophic and fun failure. So, yeah. This is just a progressive one and we'll just do it for science. So, so you know, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun. I'm not sure whether or not there are actually any achievements still in this. Oh, time warp. Gene Kerman, flight director and guy, it's quick introduction. I already know those things. I've probably got most of this. Here we have the science. And we use these research points or science points to unlock the next parts. Now in career mode, it's very good to go the survivability route, which was that one, because getting your cripples back from space is actually somewhat important. Uh you know what, let's just get straight into it. Loading. Hello. We gonna need a command pod. And I just placed them right there. And we're gonna need an engine. Do we have anything useful? Girders. Basic pins. We're gonna need uh three of those. We'll go for the oops. Same. Basic design as an arrow. Uh utility. Parachute. Good! Ensure that you don't die when you crash. Science, mystery goo. We're gonna need that. Uh, maybe not that many. Place one here. Is there room for, there's room for one more over here. I don't know if it. Uh, you use these to get research, as far as I know. And we're gonna add a layer here, where we can put the ignition, and the parachute as the last one. And trigger those. So it'll cost us nearly 3,000 kerbal bucks, or whatever that's called. We'll call it the Explorer one. Explorer one. Explorer one point one. Because we're just gonna get this into space. Let's try it out. Um. In the career mode, you actually had to be very careful with how many parts you placed. And uh, okay, I've already yes, SAS was T. Perfect. This is anti-normal, normal radial. These weren't in the ones before. Huh? I haven't seen those. Those I didn't have those in career mode. That's weird. Oh well, let's just launch this and Jebediah. It's so perfect. So. It's a perfect noise. It looks so happy. And we're already out of fuel. How far are we gonna get? Oh, I just realized something. I forgot to check when this I have to deploy the parachute. But wow, we've already made it to you know, 7,000 meters. Now, Kerbal, of course, becomes much more entertaining when you can start adding more and more parts. And we're still rising, and now we're falling. Big, well, it becomes more entertaining because you can actually go out 
and explore everything out there, make space stations and practically everything. In this case, you can't really do that. Oh, I've got. I need to observe Mr. Goo. Yay! Um, keep data. And observe Mr. Goo. Keep data. And um, oh yes, if you actually crash into those, let's just deploy this. Oops. You could actually destroy your own things, so going straight up wasn't actually that good of an idea. I wonder where I'll land. Well, at least it looks like I'll land safely. Also, oh, I'm really loving this because you had to upgrade everything with funds in career mode. It sucked. I couldn't go over 30 parts. I couldn't uh, make things too expensive because if they just dest were destroyed, I had to hire pilots. I had to do oh, so much stuff. Probably could be entertaining doing a play through of that until you went bankrupt. Oh, look at that. Um, recover vessel. Let's see where we get out of it. The first few flights are just adding more and more stuff. We got 13.6 science. And he's just ready for next assignment. Perfect. That means we can actually unlock stuff. We're going to go with this because, hey, more, more boosters, stability, or general rocketry. Hmm. Maybe just do something with this. Data transmitter. Yes, I need that one because I need the decoupler. Yeah, decoupler is nice. It's not necessarily something you always want, but in some cases it can be really, really useful. Like I'm going to show you. Hopefully. You just go away, please. Now we have the cockpit. Oh, those are liquid fuel tanks. I'm gonna add no wait, I need a decoupler first. Um what's the structural? Decoupler because I'm expecting this to get far. Then we need the fuel tanks, we'll grab two of those and we're gonna need a Light electric fuel engine. Um, another these, and then we need something to get into orbit. We will grab. I can't have these. Oh, I can't have these on. Darn it! We only have that here. Um, do we have anything else? Yes, we need basic fins. Still symmetry or something. Oh, here as well. Now, in theory, this one go first, boost us up high, then we'll decouple that and light this one. And then decouple that. So it will get into, well, hopefully quite high. That's lovely. Oh, ah, I forgot to change the name. Oh well. It's actually too bad you can't change the pilot's names. If, I don't know if you, if you can. If you could do that, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set head to the moon and have him crash into it, and Shu will just leave him open just for fun. They'll probably be quite mad at me for doing that, but hey, at least it's somewhat entertaining, right? I don't know. Um, I actually think we're getting too much speed. We're getting too much speed. Yeah, um, our fins are actually taking damage from the speed. Oh, we need to decouple. And this will toggle on. I actually think I can. Oh, bollocks! I accidentally. What is it to control the throttle? I can't remember, but I accidentally already decoupled. So, as soon as. Well, this gets. Um, more speed. Yes, oh. This is actually a part where I have failed catastrophically before, where I get too much speed. Oh, yay! We're already free. We're already free. Observe Mr. Goo. Let's see. Goo seems to be getting very cold now. Keep data. Hopefully be able to recover. That's nine. And if I can just reach... What is my... Apoapsis. Apoapsis. Where the highest point in the orbit. Oh, I'm actually going to crash in the water, it looks like. It's at 81.5, so 
a minute and 28. Can I just... We're reaching the apoapsis soon. 52 seconds. Eight seconds. It's fifty one point six five four or eighty one point six five four. We've actually gotten quite far up. We're in the upper atmosphere right now. And Jebediah just looks so happy. I think if I had to push that one he would get out, but he'll probably fall to his death, so I shouldn't do that. Let's see. Um what this music, well, that must be when, like, space or something. Observe Mr. Goo. Goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Well, that seems... Data size... I don't think I actually have a transmitter, do I? I'll just keep the data. I should probably add a transmitter on, just in case... No, he's going down now. Well, I should have probably added a transmitter in case he dies on re-entry. Oh, look, it's so tiny! We're speeding up because... Well, just because. There's no point in sitting there watching it for ages as it slowly enters and it's re-entering the atmosphere. Yeah. We should be able to see drag soon and... Wasn't I supposed to hit the water? Uh-oh. Don't die. Well, he didn't burn up on re-entry. That's good. I'm pretty sure this needs to get um, under 200 before I can deploy the uh, parachute. Otherwise, it'll be destroyed by drag, and it should go off at a thousand meters. So come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Oh, I didn't. It's not broken. Yay! ROCKET SCIENCE! Apparently it involves sending imaginary kerbals out into space for... Why am I actually sending them out into space? Oh yeah, it's because this is apparently the space program. It seems like some sort of... I wonder what actual astronauts actually think about playing this, or if actual people who send them up. Yay! Recover vessel. More science. Science and stuff. Hmm... 30 science points. That is nice. So... The art of... The art and science of landing and walking away from it. Now that's needed. What do we have here? Stability, reaching for the stars, with keeping our spacecraft pointed generally in the right direction. I fuck in your general direction. More interesting, more fuel, more ambitious ideas. Ars 20. I uh, only. Uh, I should check that first. Oh well, now at least I have landing struts, more parachutes, so to speak. Manufacturer fun lying by the side of the road. Heat resistant service bay. I do check the health instruments. So small, so I have no idea what's up. Uh, but heat shield's probably useful. Okay. Hello. Yes. I want to take everything from this part and dump it there. Actually, I want to take everything from this part and this. Because we need. Um. What's it? Aerodynamics. Heat shield. Definitely needed. Not gonna burn out there. Then we'll need this one and fuel tanks. Still only have that one. Still got two of those with a. Reliant fuel engine and structural. Okay, there we're back to that one. The engines we have the flea and the hammer. What bothers me that I can't? Oh wait, I can just put like model girder segment on there, right? I should be able to put more engines on it. Yes. There we go. No idea if that's going to work, but it'll be fun to see. 
uh, basic pins. It's on these. Um, we will some space. Hi. I think we'll probably need more parachutes just in case. Two should be enough. So all those three will actually will grab. And that. Move those there so they will pop up first and then in case they are destroyed we still have that one as backup. Pretty sure they can crash on 12 meters 25. 5 meters 25 so same. Now I'm not actually sure whether or not this will I'm hoping this will get us into space. But if it doesn't Well if it doesn't we need more engines, right? This is version 3. Explorer. Save. Um, and this goes, and then that goes, and then those go. Yeah, that should be fine. No problem. This is so much easier than Korea where we actually have to worry about everything dying. And we need this. What was it? Throttle. I can't remember the. Oh. Uh, why are you? No, 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 no! Ah, crikey! Come on, you're supposed to go up, not sideways. Um. Uh, well. Can I stable? Ah, no, it won't be stable. Come on, stay stable. Up, 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 up. No, you're supposed to go. No, no, no. Come on, up. No. Uh, bollocks. Well, that didn't work. Wonder why. Hmm. Oh, something's still bouncing. Explore debris. Well, um, abort. Lift off, separation step five. Well, everything seemed to could destroy. Um I'll go to back to vehicle assembly. I could have just done this in career mode and then just have these things going in. Maybe it's not that good an idea to have those four there. Could have said my hands all about myself told myself that already, but how about this? Uh, this and then this will that help? Hopefully that'll help. Well, Explorer one four. The Explorer one point four will now try to lift off. And hopefully it's not gonna just turn around and quietly crash into something. I mean, who does that? Um stability on and it's good, it's still pointing straight up. Yeah, but I it's still doing fine. I'm very happy. I've already forgotten that he previously died, and this seems to be turning slightly. That worries me. Come on! Now I know that this person, when you reach orbit, you're supposed to point in a certain direction. I haven't actually checked up on all the things that might be necessary for that, but hey. This is just the first episode. It's a learning experience. And. What is the apex or apo ap apoapsis? 35,000. That's not enough. Launch! I just realized what happens if I accidentally get him into outer space? So, Mr. Goop. Getting to do that. Hmm. Oh, that's probably why it tipped a bit. 
because I have these that add mass to that side. Uh oh. Well, the. Oh, 125! That's definitely better than last time. Isn't there a shortcut to these? I should probably find that. So, even fully sped up to 4, it's gonna take nearly 2 minutes to get there. And I just don't want to go over the water, do I? Minute T minus 40 seconds. So that's 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and see here. Everything looks so. Sp Am I the only one worried that you can still just see the space center right there? That's a bit. Unsettling knowing that it's so huge that it can see in space. So, I have Mr. Go. Sphere and brittle. Oh, right, I can do a crew report. Uh, that's from here, right? Crew report. It seems we're very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. It should be. Oh, right. I actually forgot to decouple that. Um, can I transmit? No comms devices, yes. So, keep data. Well, you're coming down with that whether you like it or not. And you're actually coming down rather fast. Okay. So, we are reaching quite a speed here. Drag should slow it significantly. Oh shite. That is unsettling. Well, the heat shield did its job. I'm pretty sure it would have burned up on re entry there. They work! I'll just um, throw that one out there as well. That's three of them. You know, this is more success than I've ever had in Kerbal. We've only blown up once, and that was become because it was unstable. I usually burn up on re-entry. Or when the chutes catastrophically fail to open because high heat or speed, it's just too dangerous. I can't I don't wanna board it now. But these seem to actually I'm moving at three meters per second. Hmm. Sure. It seems my worry that it wouldn't be safe to send him up there well, was um, something's wrong here. That's 822 meters above everything. <laughs> See. 26 signs. Research, research, research. We want this one, right? Yes, we want this one. More. Back Thumper Solid Fuel Booster. Build a new, even more volatile fuel. Back up for semi reliable, semi -reliable performance? That's a bit scary. Uh, <laughs> what? The T-200 tank had some difficulty being accepted in the spacecraft engineering world because most rocket builders had trouble overcoming their urges to squee at the cute little fuel tank. This initial reaction was put aside when the amount of fire explosions in assembly areas became so high, strict guidelines were put in place to prohibit teasing the fuel container? If a simple politely? What? That is... No getting that one. What's the next? We can get Terrier liquid fuel engine, that liquid fuel engine, more fuel tank, or we can go strut connector, fuselage. Oh. And a better decoupler. Adapter. 
Oh. And launch the ability enhancer. Hmm. Interesting. Kick of flying mode. Or these. I don't really know what I need those for. This is deck tricks. Probably go this one next, but that's 18 signs and we have 6. Oh well. Let's see, what's these other things? We have closed. Oh, look at all the stuff! All the people. That I don't want to hire. This is the hangar bay for... This is a hangar bay for, like, crafts, isn't it? Can't build any of those yet, because, hey, I don't have the science for it. Now, I'm pretty sure if I go into aviation, I'll be able to find those things. Oh well, we'll do one last launch, and then we will see what I can get out of this. There's also a cockpit here. Mm. Um, let's blow on the port. Not that, please. Okay, let's see. What can we do? We can... Uh, I'm pretty sure that liquid fuel are actually better than solid fuel. Oh, that means I can... Now I can do this because now I can need one of those instead. This has... Yes, yeah, twice the same. But it... Yeah, it also has practically the same. It's just the same thing. So, no difference except it costs less. Oh well. Reliant swivel. Uh, this one's better. Reliant. And then we need structural. And engines. We will grab the back thumber. Holy. That's a big one. Oh, and then I can should I add some of these to the side. Have them start up, start it all off. That would probably be horrible. Fun, but horrible. So these will start it. Actually, I should just put these together. Then that will separate, and then that one will go. Yay! This won't go bad. Go in any way bad at all. But here, and here, and here. Oh, they're not even. Oh well. This, this since it's a new one, it's uh, Daedalus. Daedalus 1.1. Save. This is going to go horrible, isn't it? If this falls just during launch, that'll be horrible. Oh well. I'm hoping that these big engines would be able to send us perhaps out into space. And then I can use the smaller engine to... Oh, right. I know what I can do. Observe Mr. Goo. Keep data. Well. No time like the first. Oh, I just realized something horrible. They have less fuel as well. Um. No. 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 Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Well, I should have realized that before launch. It took me 55 seconds to horribly murder the crew again because of instability and stupidity. And well, uh, that was horrible. We'll not do that with those.
No, screw it. We're getting one more, and then it's fine. Then I can talk a bit while we're, we're horribly going. Hopefully, this won't end as bad as the last time. Is this just because it's top heavy? I don't understand. Why must it do this? Uh, SAS? Go! Well, it doesn't seem to be tipping this time. Uh, at least not that much. So I guess that's good. Well. <clears throat> oh, and. That's a mystery goop. On the way. That was useless. And everything's being burnt because of the friction. Well, solid fuel tanks nearly empty, so that's good, I guess. Uh oh. Go thrust it. I'm pretty sure I can. Yes, I can. Oh. Okay, this doesn't have any minimum mode apparently. It just has maximum minimum. Maximum? Said minimum. Well, this is interesting. Can I? No, no, you should pretty good this way. Can I? I'll just turn off the SAS. Then? Yep. Oh, oh. It's empty now. Well, never mind then. Da 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 da. How do I stop it? Don't do that! Which way is up? Which way is that? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Yay! Where's is there? Stop doing that! No! God darn it! Ah! Uh, now we're not even gonna break the height record. Oh well. That is horrible. We report. There's absolutely no value whatsoever. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. It's. Oops, I actually need to do that. Huh! Completely forgot about that. And I need to. Uh, bollocks. How does it do this? How does I do. Uh, screw this. He's probably gonna die anyway. Well, I've been Darkstorm, and this is the Kerbal Space Program that I'm going to attempt and play and succeed in on Thursdays. And well, with me is the lovely Jess Jebediah, who is on. He must be Jebediah the third. Well, this should be actually enough. The heck was that? Oh well. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And leave a like if you do. Comment if you have any good ideas for what I should build or how I should build it. I'm going to check it up on the interwebs anyway, but it's nice to have a little bit of input. Also, if you have good names for the ships, that will be awesome. So, leave a comment down below if you have ideas. Like it in the video if you do. Go check out the Minecraft series I'm also currently running on Mondays. It's, well, me doing Minecraft. I like it. It's fun. And also check out Shu playing his Horrors. The series Pent is currently running is, as far as I can remember, XCOM, and it's actually quite nice. XCOM's a good game as well. Enemy unknown. Or is it enemy within? Can't remember which one's the expansion. Either way, check them out. On Sundays we put out specials, and we have Heroes of the Storm out, Gmod, Gary's Mod, Hunters, oh, sorry, Murder, and Trouble in Terrorist Time, Prop Hunt, all those things. We're having fun with that. And I really hope that you will enjoy watching us. So if you do, subscribe to our channel. And other than that, let's get Jebediah safely down to Earth.
he is very slowly getting safely down to. This is an Earth, sorry, that's purple. Remember. Oh well, he's safe, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! I will try. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You. We are currently observing immediate behind the keyboard. Thank you for your patience. Seriously, did I miss that? Oh, Lordy! I'm so stupid. Oh.